with Phil Honeywell, the principal of Newcomb Secondary College. Phil, thank you for joining us. And we're really Welcome. interested to learn more about P-Tech that's been rolling out. Of course, this, this got a lot of attention over the last couple of years and there was the announcements with the Prime Minister coming down to announce this school. But it's rolling out, the program is here. We're here at Barwon Health in the new laboratories and we've actually got kids inside the lab learning now. Could tell us a little bit about where you are now with this program. Okay, well, we've been doing a lot of work over the last two years and uh, we have uh, five employer partners working very closely with us. Uh, our first cohort of students are uh, visiting uh, industry um, on a fortnightly basis, building their core skills and building their skills associated with a vetting school certificate in their particular industry stream. So we're very excited and happy with the progress we've made so far. Look, what I really love about this program is that we talk so much about kids coming through and needing to, to gain skills in what it really means to be in a workplace. Mm -hmm. You're doing this in year 10, this is fantastic. Yes, well actually we, we hope to introduce this idea younger than that with uh, a federal government core skills for work framework that allows all of the young people at Newcomb the opportunity to understand the sorts of attitudes and approaches and uh, skills that they need to integrate into a modern day workplace. So we hope as we progress through that our students will be more ready for work, more skilled and attuned to the realities of working in a modern uh, organisation. Well, it sounds like very sensible things happening in education, Phil. Well, uh, we'd like to think so, <laughs> and it builds, it builds a whole range of conversations in a school uh, when we look at how are we best advantaging our young people. And we realise that uh, uh, the employment structures around the Geelong and around the country are changing. We are having a greater mechanisation which is leading to you know, jobs changing, uh, leading to uh, organisations looking at the way that they adapt their own work practices and our young people need to A, be aware of that and skilled up to take part in this exciting future. Yeah, terrific. And you've got three specific areas that the program is looking at at the moment. Can you talk us through those? Yeah, so we, with a little bit of assistance from uh, uh, organisations around Geelong, we looked at where Geelong was situated in an employment and uh, uh, landscape really with uh, Ford departing and Alcoa uh, departing and we identified three streams that we thought we could support our students with um, ICT, business and health science with a view to um, there being job opportunities in these areas uh, at present and on for the foreseeable future. It of um, course, sorry. Sorry, it, I was just going to say, and what a great thing for these kids that they can actually have on their resumes going forward that they've been in place here, that they actually understand how these places and these industries work. Absolutely, they're, they're connecting and they're uh, uh, interacting with uh, real workplaces, real workplace challenges, and the skills and knowledge they develop for that is really hard to measure. Mm. And we need, I mean, the Australian Computer Society recently released a report that said we need 40,000 more jobs to be filled in the ICT sector and by ICT we mean of course across all sectors mm -hmm. and the use of ICT yes. technology uh, but in the next two years that's a lot of kids that we need to come through with with some really good skills. Yes well we haven't got 40,000 uh, students <laughs> uh, ready to go but uh, our relatively small numbers we hope will contribute to uh, helping and supporting firstly that uh, skills gap and from our perspective uh, advantaging our students as they step towards adult life. Fantastic. Well, thank you for joining us, Phil, and it's great to see this program rolling out here in Geelong. We're going to be watching with a lot of interest. You're welcome. Thank you. So we're here with Jason Hodge in the laboratories at Barwon Health. Jason, thank you for having us here. Tell us a little bit about your involvement with the PTEC program. Yeah, sure. Well, um, I'm the laboratory manager in the GC laboratory at Barwon Health, and we were approached by Newcomb Secondary College um, saying that they had some um, Year 10 students who were doing the lab skills course through the, the local TAFE and whether or not we could provide some realistic work experience for them. So we were happy to, to lend our expertise and give them a little bit of a taste for, for working in a laboratory space. Now, well, obviously we're in a, in a clean environment here. Obviously we're all gowned up and, and got our glasses on. How, how much do the kids get out of this experience and how much do they really get a feel for what it's like to be in a working laboratory? I think it's really important for them. I had a chance to speak to one of the teachers at the TAFE and of course they're dealing with the theory. What they get when they come here is um, I deliberately don't treat them as students but more as you know work colleagues we talk about things outside of just the academic side and there's opportunities to talk about how the workflow 
works in a lab, the type of tr things that you might be doing. Like as an example, today they're, they're putting stickers on boxes that'll go in a freezer. You know, it's pretty, pretty low end, but then we also talk about the science of how to measure pH in a solution and, and they get to see other students and staff working. So it's a way of giving them a bit of a, a, a taste of what the workplace is like, that you're actually doing practical. Mm. practical and if, uh, even if it is putting stickers on boxes in yeah. laboratories, it's important that the right stickers go in the right boxes. Yeah, we've already found that we've made a few errors, but we've gone back and fixed <laughs> that. So Jason, in, as you were going through school, would this have been an experience that would have helped you? Would it have been something that you would have wanted to do when you were back in high school? Yeah, I think it would. We had, um, we had a chances to go and do some um, visits to workplaces, but it was very much filing around and, and being there a short, just for a short term. Whereas this opportunity, it's about building relationships with people in the workplace and, and hopefully it, they have a chance to open up and, and ask questions that, you know, try and break down those sort of barriers of student versus, you know, scary adult. And it seems to be going well. And how are you finding their confidence level? You, you've gone through the first term now. They're starting to, to get used yeah. to used to you and the environment now. How has that changed? Yeah, it's been it's been slow because of course they come in and they you can't get much out of them at all. Um, but as we've um, yeah had a few visits and they've got to know me, I've got to know them. You find out what they're interested in doing outside of school, and and that's when you start to get you know sort of good input from them. Yeah, fantastic, and. Jason, just before we leave you, this, air, this whole area of science, technology, engineering and maths, we know that we need more people in Australia. We know that we need better skills to, con to keep up with what's happening around the world. What, do you, what would you like to see in an ideal world if we gave you a magic wand and said you can change anything you like about the way that kids come through education and training? For you and your industry, what do you want the, the kids of, at school today to leave with tomorrow? Well, I would think certainly this is a good step for them to be able to mix the academic learning with the real workplace but I think ultimately what we want is the pipeline we're filling the pipeline with the students coming through but we need those work opportunities and um, for instance in the Geelong region there is a big focus now particularly in biosciences to create employment out of that and so having students coming through at the year 10 level gives them a taste and then hopefully with the work of local and national government and private industry, um, there'll be the work in the future for them to, to move into, even at a lab tech level, but also at tertiary level, so that there's more and more opportunities. So, so ultimately, yeah, more, more work for the science industry. Yeah. Terrific, absolutely something that we all need, I think. Uh, thank you for having us here. Thank you for showing us around the lab, and um, we'll give you a gown back now. It's a pleasure wash your hands on the way out. <laughs> so we're here with Glenn and Karen at Tribal Campus. Now you guys are mentors, it's part of the PTEC program out here. Um, yes. We know you've got day jobs as well. <laughs> Tell us about having the kids out there and what are they actually doing here today? So today the students, uh, along with Dwayne, one of our colleagues, are securely erasing uh, a backlog of laptops that we've got so that we can decommission them from working. Now you were telling me before, Glenn, that the, the standard that you're doing this to is what, US... Department of Defence standard. So a seven pass secure erasure. So that's really, really clean, I'm guessing. Yeah, So that's we're right. not getting anything off these laptops. Not a bit. Terrific. And Karen, what happens to these? So these laptops then are going to Newcomb after this? Yep, we're going to donate them to the Newcomb. We've still got to get the approval from the Newcomb people to donate them first. And then the kids can use that as part of their, uh, their ongoing work out here. Terrific. And... Karen, can you tell me a little bit about what it's been like having high school kids out here? I mean, you don't normally have Year 10 students running around the place, do you? No, but it's been good. You know, they're, they're getting out, they're getting their confidence together and, you know, they're, they're just learning lots of stuff and it's all re always really good to see kids learning. Yeah, absolutely. And, Glenn, for, for you and watching these kids come through, what difference do you think it makes being able to learn in place? In, in a, we're in a, you know, a really working space out here. There's a couple of hundred people out here working away on their computers. What does it mean? I know for me, I learnt so much more being in the workplace rather than stuck in a classroom. Um, actual experience of doing real work. Yeah. yeah. And do you think 
what about those soft skills that we we want everyone to learn but would make such a big difference if you knew them coming in oh, earlier? It does, yeah. It means that they get to learn them before they finish school. So when they get out of the, the school environment, they're already prepared to go into their working lives. Yeah, terrific. Yeah. Right, well, thank you so much for having us out here. It's an, in this amazing new facility. You must be really enjoying it and great to see the kids out here yep. keeping them busy. Great. Thanks, Davina. Yeah, thanks.